You get randomly dropped into a forest. You can choose for a random man or a random bear to also be randomly dropped in a forest with. Let's get everybody's answer, starting with Macy. Which do you pick? I pick the bear. The bear? Okay. What about you? Probably the bear. What about you? Did you say cu- they're cute? Oh, they're sleeping. Well, actually, <laughs> there's a b- greater chance of the bear being cuter than the guy being cuter. Well, you, I- this isn't about attraction. This is about survival. <laughs> yeah. What about what about you? I feel like this is such a hard one. It's <laughs> so <laughs> easy. We no, because for me, I feel like it's hard. Because <laughs> for because um, for me, I feel like it's hard. I feel like what if you just already know how to survive? A bit. Like what kind of bear is it? Is it a brown bear? A black bear? So Are we laying random, down and playing dead? Random man, like, ah, random you know? man, random bear. Could be brown, could be grizzly, could be polar bear. Oh, <laughs> oh not you when they're polar trying to bear attack you. is guaranteed no. death. Yeah, pol- polar bear is like the most no, dangerous. No, that's death. Type you're of dying. Literally, you're dying. Um, which do you pick? Mm. Don't think about death. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't think about death. One like shoot. Huh? Bear. Bear? I'm okay. going to say bear because I think either way, you have chances of either the man or the bear just leaving you the fuck alone or Mm-mm. getting attacked and killed or possibly worse. Oh, actually, there's really not much worse than getting attacked and killed. Oh, there's worse. <laughs> oh, yeah. Actually, yeah. yeah. Okay. There's worse. Sure. I'll grant to you. Worse I, being the things they do up to you I before will even, death. I will even grant. Oh, I will oh, even yeah. Grant. And then after death. Yeah, so I would, I would even grant to you that a uh, malevolent human could conceivably uh, come up with some way that would be uh, y- your death or torture would be much more horrible than the, even, you know, some bears, for example, they will, they won't kill you right away, but they'll start eating you. Yeah. So the, the death by the bear could be terrible, but I'll even grant that the worst death by bear versus the worst death by human or experience with a human could conceivably be worse than the death by the bear. Um, but even granting that, is it still bear? Or? I think it'd be still bear. Into the mic if you can, but. Bear. Bear. In terms of survival, I'm going to. I'm choosing a man in terms of survival. Man? Okay, yeah. what about you? A man. Uh, I actually had a man pop out of the woods at my job, and I'm like really grateful that it was a man and not a bear. So <laughs> oh, there you man. go. So men. Definitely men. <laughs> Gonna have to go with men. Absolutely man. Okay, so those of you who said bear, I think it was you four here. Uh, <laughs> why? Starting with you. If I was in the middle of the forest and a bear or a man like suddenly appeared, I'd be way less scared of a bear was in front of me. You'd be less scared. Yeah. Have you ever been confronted by a bear? No, but I've also never been confronted by a man in the woods. So I don't but think like I could say could, anything. You could just like bark at the man and act like a zombie or something, you know? But if like you do that to a bear... The Wait, you could what? <laughs> you could like, you know, like start acting like a zombie or so something? You said bark? <laughs> yeah, or, like... Now that you've said crazy. that, you actually have to do it right now on the show. <laughs> I can do it, I can do, it, can do, the, I can do the, the Minecraft zombie noise. Do it, do it, okay, do it. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. but if you do that to a bear, you might like you know invite it to attack you. Versus a man, you can kind of scare them off, maybe. Okay, all right. Um, so the you said why? Because you'd be more scared of the man. Mm-hmm. Okay, what about you? I feel like I already said this, but um, yeah, I I just take my chances. I feel like it's pretty. Mm, I don't know. It was a hard question for me because I feel like either way, if you just like. You know, I don't know. Don't mess with it. It could not mess with you. I feel like there's a chance of survival for both. Definitely it's less with the bear, but I don't know. I think I'd rather take my chances with the bear. At least that one's actually supposed to be in the forest because it lives in the forest. Well, so the the scenario is you randomly get dropped into the forest and then the man, ran like a random man from the entire U.S. population also gets uh, dropped into the forest. So there's no motivation. Why is he in the forest? It's just randomly in the forest. But, okay. Are we getting dropped in the same location? You will come across either the man or the bear. You're not going to be able to, like, hide. He won't see you. Like, he will see you. You will see him. The bear will see you. You'll see the bear. Damn. Okay. <laughs> but you're free. you can run away. You can stand there. You can walk past. Like, what you do is up to you, I guess. You play dead? 
I can play dead. Well, I can't un- outrun a bear. So maybe I'll change my answer to a man. <laughs> but your original answer was bear. But <laughs> well, w- maybe the bear leaves you alone. Maybe the bear does nothing. So why did you pick the bear too. initially? Um, I don't know. I think just literally because I like animals. I know that's such a stupid answer because my life is on the line. But like, <laughs> I do like animals. So. <laughs> um, and also, well, I'll just grant that you do like animals, but in this situation, that really it's ultimately a question about your survival, right? Yeah. So your like or dislike for an animal is kind of irrelevant. I feel like a random man could be more scary than a bear. Bears have a set nature. Men don't. <laughs> it's true. You never know what a man can what's do. A you know what a bear can what's do. What's a man's set nature? They don't have one. Men they don't have a set well, nature. How many random men do you pass on the street every day? Oh, like many, yeah. Do they harm you? No. So well, they're they predictable to some degree. Um... Yeah, I guess you could say. Like, well, I mean, okay, so let's say, I mean, do you go party on DP? I have before, yeah. yeah. And you walk, I mean, they're fairly predictable in that none of them have ever walked up to you and, like, punched you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're fairly predictable. Okay, in that so you sense. can predict that. But that's here. Yeah. And if we're going into the wide scope of the whole world, you think of everything that's ever happened. It's, there's nothing to say that it can't happen to you. Yeah, sure. Ge- geographically, so, your risk could be higher in some geographies yeah. but i mean i'll just simplify it let's just say it's a forest in the u.s and the man will be a u.s citizen that still doesn't change anything there's still plenty of men who have done horrible things in the u.s sure yeah there's plenty of so i would i would ra- die honorably by a bear and have it eat me and like <laughs> it be useful or something <laughs> then die to like a oh man but remember the scenario is not you don't know for certain for either the man or the bear if they're going to be aggressive towards you they might. Both of them might, but both of them might not. But I feel like a man could do far worse than a bear can. Like, could. eat me. Like, I don't care. A man could also eat you. Yeah, Cannibalism is a thing. Jeffrey Dahmer. Sure. Like, and then, Macy, what about you? I, I agree with her, but, like, I am, like, low-key. I have a fear of men. Like, if I was alone with a man, I would be scared. So I would just be killed by a bear than... Get, like, I don't know the intentions of the man, but I, I would just rather be killed by a bear. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you're scared of men. Mm-hmm. Um, are you scared of Nick? <laughs> no. No, he's you cool? You guys seem chill. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> Euler sees the pagan donated $200. <laughs> I the ones that picked bear. Do you realize is that if a bear got into you home and you call animal control or the police, most likely men would arrive to save your stupid asses. Hmm. That there's part. only one man in the floor. <laughs> so please. We'll please, bro. I've actually made this before, but Pagan, thank you. Appreciate the TTS. Good to see you in the chat. We also do have another chat here. Dude, 1990. Ladies, I would pick you over the bear 10 out of 10 times, Aww. even though a majority of you would pick the bear. No. Um, kind of a you. simp, but okay. <laughs> oh, what a simp. All right. Thank you, though. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, actually, though, it, I mean, truthfully, though, it would be, at least from the, the male perspective, if it's random woman, random bear, uh, yeah, the smart move would be to pick the woman. But I would pick the man, too. Um, Men are stronger. And to be fair, man and man, like, if you as a man being in the forest with another man, that's less of a threat than, Why? Like, as a woman. Why is that? Uh, really? Um, mm. Because men can physically overpower us. I, me, I'm, like, working on being a bodybuilder right now. No matter how fucking strong I get, there's always going to be someone stronger who can just fucking pin me down and do whatever the hell they want. Don't you want them on your side? Yeah, but in a random forest, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be on my side. This is a random scenario. They could be on my side. They could not be. So a bear is 100% guaranteed to not be on your side. You realize that? No, it could leave you alone. It could leave you alone, but Most likely it can smell alone. you. It can hunt you. <laughs> you're guaranteed to get hunted by a bear. A random man, you're not 100% guaranteed to get hunted down by him. And if two are working together, your chances of survival greatly increase. You either come across the man or the bear, not both. Wait, is it both? No, no, no it's, it's one or the other. It's one, okay, one or the other, but you're in a survival yeah. situation in the middle of the oh. woods. Oh, it's just a survival. You're like, dropped in, in the, the middle of the woods. You what can choose one. Who do you want on your team? 
Yeah, if we're talking about like you. <laughs> push it, in, push it back over there. You kind of got freaked out by that spider there. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, Are you gonna? You, you, I mean, you're not gonna be freaked out by a giant bear. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> Have any of you like been in contact with a bear? I've seen them, I've but seen, never in contact. Yeah, they're like in the zoo or something. <laughs> I've seen them on the street. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Thank you. Like, I don't think we're fully dialed in on the dangers of a bear here. I think Probably modern not. conveniences have made people uh, believe that they're just safe all the time and they don't realize that bears mm -hmm. will absolutely rip you apart. A couple of women have died recently from bear attacks. Yeah. Yeah, so it's not totally safe. I'm curious though, so I mean, even if I grant that there is, and that, well, look, there certainly is, uh, if it is a random man, there is some potential for one of this randomly selected man to be a threat to you. Uh, what percentage, though, do you think that that is? That you would be attacked by the man in this situation? High. High. How high? If you had to assign a percentage into the mic. We'll start with you. We'll go back that way. More than 50%. More than 50%. Okay. 60%? <laughs> 60%. Uh, so 60% would do what? Murder you? Either murder me, Or rape try to, me. like, essay you? Mm -hmm. Well, what percentage would try to essay you? 60%? Yes. Okay. Oh. Um, I mean, like, obviously... Okay, I totally misunderstood the question, but... Um, with men, I don't know, I'd say 50-50. 50-50? -50. Yeah. 50% chance of murder? And that's just honestly because I've had my own personal experiences, mm -hmm. and you, someone can lie to your face. Like, I had someone harm me who had known me since I was 15, and then the second I was 18, he was just like, oh, yeah, give me that. And then, well, there was nothing I could do about that. So 50%? Yeah. Murder chance. Because you really never know who someone truly is. Sure, yeah. What about you? Mm. Yeah, I'll go like 30%. 30, per 30 yeah. percent of men would Rough. try to attack you in some way. Okay, what about you? I would say it's a 50-50. 50 percent. -50. Okay, so I think it was 60, 50, 30, 50. Okay. Um, so the male population of the US is 165 million. If we do 60, I'll just, uh, 60, that would be, well, 50% would be about 80 million. Um, you think, so, I mean, you said 60, 50, 50 for you two. Do you genuinely think that 80 million men in the United States would be inclined to essay or murder you? From the stats at UCSB, yes. What are the stats at UCSB? I don't know, but I remember it being high. What are, I, you'd have to cite the, uh, or s at least say what the stat is. Something like seven out of 10 girls at UCSB. Have been full blown essayed. Yes, in some kind of way. Well, what is the definition of essay? Either cat called, either Cat calling is sexual assault. No, 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 no. Just harassment. No, you in general. just hold just on. You just said cat calling. Well, I'm not. While I think that's not appropriate behavior, how can that be sexual assault? Okay, sorry. Just any kind of harassment. Well, I'm, in I'm general. just going to take that that was included in the stu in the data. How could you believe data that includes cat calling as sexual assault? Harassment. Just but any it, okay, kind fine. Of if, harassment. if I, I'll even grant you that uh, cat calling is harassment. But it's not sexual assault. I'm not saying it's. Okay, I don't think Other types of sexual cool. assault include ass grabbing. Sure, yeah. But you're saying the rape. study cited includes catcalling. No, that was part of harassment. I just like With, morphed right. everything together. But so you said seven out of ten women at UCSB have been. There's something like that, yes. Okay. 
I mean, this is a study done by who? Is it done by UCSB? No, it was, yes. It was some kind of program we had to finish before entering UCSB. And I remember reading about some What about the rates things? towards men, or do they only care about when women are sexually harassed? I doubt they provide that. They didn't provide that, but yes. They, there's no information about the rate of uh, harassment no. towards men. No. Interesting. Uh, so I'm trying to see. Nick, were you able to find anything on that? I can't find it. 70%. And I'm going to be honest, they pretty much cherry pick stats and By the. Uh, in any case, it includes catcalling. Okay. Just any type of harassment. Okay. But it includes catcalling. So what if the rate, what if the rate of like, like actual SA was 5%, but it's in, incorporating this 70% of women get, get uh, uh, catcalled? Huh? How, how could that be useful statistics mm -hmm. if it's so broad that it includes catcalling? Something that e women even I do I think catcalling I just included. But the three top ones that did include were ass grabbing at parties especially, mm -hmm. just unwanted touch, anything like that, and rape, of course. And so um, for this reason, because somebody at freshman orientation told you that seven out of ten women who go to UCSB have been or will be okay. a victim of vague, vague essay, including but not limited to catcalling. This is your basis for saying that 60% of men in the United States or 80 million men in the United States would be inclined to murder or essay Even women. if we don't go with specific numbers, I'd say a higher population of men are more inclined to like hurting women in any way possible. Yeah, so 60%. Okay, yeah, let's go with that number. Okay, so then do you think, I mean, these are pretty high numbers, I mean, there's, there's something pretty defective here going on with, with men then. Well, if we go with like general statistics that everyone probably knows, whether that's from TikTok or any kind of social media that has like... You think TikTok is a reputable no, source I'm of information? No, I'm just saying just like any kind of like You're gonna social media. You're going to use TikTok when you go to med Twitter, school? <laughs> Twitter. And Twitter like is not a reputable... How about we use Department of Justice statistics? And whatever is in the Department of Justice statistics, I'll grant you that that's the rate in which women are victimized in this specific way. Or do you not okay. believe the Department of Justice statistics? And what is that? It's a federal. No, um, I'm saying what are the numbers? There? I don't know, Nick. You can pull it up. Rate of, uh, I guess, the incidence of uh, R word department. That also doesn't take into account any of the things that weren't reported. Okay, but how do we, if we're going to, if we're going to uh, cite two statistics and if something wasn't reported, how do we have a conversation about that? I mean, facts. I mean, like, when it happened to me, I didn't report it because I was essentially told, oh, you can do. We can't you, do anything. You went to the police? Uh-huh. And they essentially mm -hmm. told me that there was nothing I could do. Was there a kit done? There was not a kit done because it wasn't that kind of essay. Okay. Well, I don't know the details of it, but... Um, oh, we can get into it, because it's tea, but we don't have to. <laughs> it's real tea. Oh, it covers one of the other topics we weren't technically supposed to talk about. Like you were underage or something? I wasn't, but there were other girls involved who were. Okay, all right. Um, in any case, though, um, your position... Nick, can you get the data? Justice. You could look at both. There's criminal criminal victimization 2022. Oh, excuse me. I think it's the Bureau uh, of Justice Statistics. So according to the Department of Justice, they say for rape, sexual assault, the rate per 1,000 is in 2018, 2.7, 2019, 1.7, 2020, 1.2, 2021, 1.2, 2022, 1.9 per 1,000. What, so what's the percentage there? Is it less than 1% in a given year? 
Do you have any, you have something from the FBI? Uh, I had something from the Bureau of Stats, but it's in a different. If you want me to look up what you just have or pull it up, you should send it to private chat. Okay, I'll send it via private chat just so we have a reference here. I sent it to you. It should be. It's the third page down. Eula sees the pagan donated two hundred dollars. Brought to you by Fourth Wave Feminism, indoctrination and brainwashing young impressionable girls into thinking all men are predators. This is why MGTOW is a thing. Congratulations. All right. Thank you, Pagan. Appreciate the TTS. Do you have it, Nick? All right. One sec. Can I say something? Sure. I think regardless of what these statistics are, I think the reason, like, even though my number isn't as high as her number, um, I think the reason that is is because... Although you might think TikTok, like, yes, people can say false things, and it, can, it might be fake. A lot of stuff on social media is fake. But on TikTok, on social media platforms, that's where we hear most of our news. That's where we hear about everybody's experiences. And because we're on it, we're exposed to that. And regardless of what the statistic is, it's real. And I don't agree with the saying that all men are bad. I genuinely don't. I don't think that at all. I've met plenty of like amazing men in my life. And I wouldn't be where I am today without them. But it is, I think, the reason why in our heads, like, it's, regardless of what the statistic is, it's possible. And in my opinion, I would blatantly rather die by a bear than by a man. Like, I would, I would prefer that death over one by a man. Right, but it's sort of a And that's with of... me saying that I'm not afraid of men. But you're assuming the man's going to kill you is the problem. Just the same way I could assume that the bear is going to kill me, too. Right, so you're equating the chances of death the same between both parties. And that's what this comment was just alluding to, is that that's the issue with feminism and social programming that's happening to young women, is we're being told that men are inherently dangerous. I don't think all men are dangerous, but it's possible. Well, you think women, enough- if you ask me the same question, would I rather be like a bear or a woman, my answer would still stay with a bear. So you really? People? B- people in general. You can't trust people. You don't know people. But if it's just two people, or uh, whether, whether a bear, one person, one bear in a forest alone to survive, why would you not choose somebody else that could help you survive, help you build, hunt, fish, search for things? Because but, you just don't know what their intentions but if, are. You're right, but more than likely they're coming in with that mindset of, oh, we are here to survive. I'm with one other person. We're going to work together as a team. We're going to... Yeah. Biologically, we're wired to gravitate towards those who look like us, yeah. right? So see a, a film, familiar human being, you're going to gravitate towards that person for help, and that's just biological nature. Especially if it's just two of you in a forest alone. Going back to, to what you said about TikTok, do you think that perhaps your feed is curated to deliver a certain message to you about men? No, because I, that that's not based on my feed. That's from feed that I've seen on other people or, like, that you they've talked about it. pay attention to other seen, people's feeds? No, like, they've talked about it. Like, oh, I saw this girl, yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, oh, damn. Like, right, but, if, okay, if you start consuming and watching content on TikTok that is talking about SA and victimization of women by men and you stay engaged on it, you leave a comment, you like it, right. or even if you don't, but you your watch time is high enough, TikTok is like their algorithm algorithm super strong Mm -hmm. and it's just going to push you that stuff. That's true. So that's true. They're very careful with like, I don't know. For some reason I watched one fucking K-pop thing on TikTok (laughs) and now all I get is girl K-pop bands and it's fucking crazy, bro. That's really funny. (laughs) Blackpink, Illit. That's all I'm seeing on my TikTok now. Twice. See, all I get tra- on my TikTok I, is animals. Shit, like. It's bothering me, bro. <laughs> just bo- okay, pull up the stats really quick, and then we'll get back to the bear thing. All right. Um, oh, hold on. Grid One Motorsports donated $200. You strumpets go to associate hey, with one. a better class of men. It is far more likely a man will help you. Renounce the evils of feminism. Embrace the patriarchy, where we value and protect women. I don't know about that one. That's true. All right. Embrace the patriarchy. Grid One Motorsports. Very good to see you in the chat, man. Hope you're having a uh, good day. I'm going to read two other chats, then we'll pull up the statistics. We have Dude1990. Hold on. Let me see if I can. Imagine being more afraid of a toy spider than an actual bear. <laughs> yeah, right. keep picking the bear. 
Okay. Yeah, All right. right. Dude, 1990. That's Appreciate it, bro. Funny. And then we have another one from Dude, 1990. He says... He's cashing out. He's so funny. 1990. Let's see. Uh, what's crazy is as a random American male, I would die to save every single woman on this panel versus a bear of any kind. Why am I so dumb? Make them answer this question. Why are you so dumb? <laughs> um, isn't And also, Wait. he said... He said earlier, I'm going to pull this one up again. Ladies, I would pick you over the bear 10 out of 10 times, even though the majority of you would pick the bear. Okay, so, dude, 1990, appreciate it. Thank you, bro. Uh, okay, so let's pull up the statistic really quick. You guys might disagree with the t- statistics, but this is a, uh, this is pretty uh, Department of Justice, Bureau of Justice statistics. Uh, so they are saying that grape and essay is... Like I said, 2018, 2.7, 2019, 1.7, 1.2, and in 2022, 1.9 per thousand. So I don't know, what's the percent? I'm terrible at math. What would be the point, point two in the, in a given year? Is that correct? Okay. All right. My math is math, math in. So (laughs) I'm just curious though, if, if it really was, if it was genuinely like if women were getting victimized at the rate that you suggested it is 70 percent and it's occurring more so on college campuses than in the broader general population why would any woman ever go to college if it was actually the case that the victimization rate was 70 percent like if i was in an airplane and there was a parachute and they told me there was even a 5% chance that your parachute wouldn't open. There's no scenario where I would get on that airplane and jump out. And is SA one of the worst things a woman can experience in her life? Sure, okay, you could get tortured by Dexter, okay. <laughs> it's probably one of the worst things you can experience in your life. Why, if it was actually the case, why aren't parents up in arms about this and refusing to send their their kids to college, and why are you willingly going to the slaughterhouse? Because I don't think it's necessarily college. I don't think people are getting, you know, having that done to them on college campus while they're attending class necessarily. You meet a guy at a party, you're drunk, he's drunk, you guys have sex, you regret it. That's just regrettable. Were you essayed? Sorry, what? You said... That Here, what, try really to drunk. repeat back to me what I said. Two people were drunk. Uh-huh. The guy's drunk. The girl's drunk. Equally drunk. They hook up. They have sex. The girl regrets it in the morning. What she essayed? I wouldn't necessarily say she was essayed. Would it be consensual sex? I'm not talking blackout drunk. I mean, they've had three beers. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's enough to get most people tipsy, but I... You'd be surprised by that. I've known people on medication, like specifically antidepressants, who later... Okay, but so they're equally, that, yeah. they're equally tipsy. They hook up. She regrets it. Was she essayed? Was it non-consensual? That's not... Just because she regrets it doesn't mean that it was non-consensual, right? Yeah. She still consented to it. Mm-hmm. So I think that's a different scenario because you can't regret it and then say that that's non-consensual. That's unfair for the so guy, So many right? women try to claim that. What percentage of women try to claim that? We can Google that, too. But that's a common thing that happens to men all the time, mm-hmm. especially men of status. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wait, was, so going around on the question I asked, mm-hmm. though, is it essay, the scenario I provided... No, I wouldn't say it's essay. No, I don't think so. No. Okay, I just wanted to get that clear. Anyways, going back to this bear thing. So <laughs> 60, 60, 50, 30, 50. The male population of the U.S. is about, it's a bit over 160 million. You said 60%. We'll just say it's 80 million men, 90 million men. Are you prepared to say that 90 million men that currently live in the United States if given the opportunity, would be inclined to either murder or essay a woman in the forest. Yeah. There's no one around. I'd still say so, yeah. 90 million men. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you think? You said 50%. You think it's 80 million men? 
I mean, I definitely misunderstood the question first, but like, if you were on a plane of survival, I think you would probably team up and try and survive more. But then, yeah, I mean, eventually, once you are surviving and thriving, probably. So more than 50%, the guy with SAU. Once we're thriving and not having to survive and being so in survival mode? Yeah, I think so. What percentage? 50, 50%? Yeah. 50-50? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You said 30, if I recall. So what, what would 30% be? Like 50 million men in the United States would be inclined to do this? Like maybe. I don't 50 know. million men. Okay. What, what about you, Macy? You said 50. So you prepared to say that 80 million men in the United States would be inclined to murder or rape women? I probably would lower my percentage to probably like 30%, but still, if, if it was me versus a man and a bear, I would still pick the bear. So 50, 50 million men in the United States would be inclined to murder or essay a woman? Okay. It's interesting. Well, how could it be then you are not, all of you are just not totally biased against men if this is the case? Because there are also 50% of men who are so good out there. We're not just totally delusionally sitting here saying, oh, we hate all men. I mean, 60%, she's saying the majority of men. Why do you think dads always tell their daughters, watch out for men? Why do you think so? Because they've seen it all, right? There's such a high percentage of girls or women who, I don't know, men do something to them. I mean, I mean moms, why, moms give this same warning, mm-hmm. but I think I it's know, sort of this general stranger danger thing that that but How exists. come they don't it's, say that about women? Okay, but that's the thing is most people who are sexually assaulted most of the time, it's not a stranger. For me, it wasn't a stranger. It was someone who had known me since I was 15. Yeah, th- that's true. That is true. Mm-hmm. And that it's wasn't even my first experience you know. ever. It's more likely to be it's somebody always you know. repetitively been someone I knew. When someone goes through something like that, so traumatizing, with someone that they did know and that they trusted, I mean, it rocks your world. You sit there and you question whether or not anything was even real. Yeah, essay is bad. That's it not really the. It leaves you feeling insane. And that's with not like the conversation at hand, though. But you're asking why trauma. But again, so you said your parents tell you that be wary of men. Mm-hmm. They tell you that, but I mean, so it it still ultimately comes down to you that your assessment is that sixty percent of men you feel would be inclined to murder or essay women. Mm-hmm. <laughs> This panel seems to have trolls and it's annoying, but I love your pod, so I still want to give support. Thank you, man. They are saying half the men in the room would essay. The girl next to Brian has a very high IQ toe. <laughs> toe. Thank you. She's got an IQ toe. toe. <laughs> All right, thank you, bro. Oh. No. Ep- Ep- Epirus? Epirus? AKA Epirus? Thank you for the uh, TTS, man. Really appreciate it. Thank you for your first TTS, man. Thank you. I just think it's crazy that you think like that many men. You're throwing like huge swaths of the population under the bus. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Y'all, y'all crazy for that one. Y'all Do you crazy. guys see so you're saying? Brown, <laughs> this is essentially that. Wait, so go ahead. No, no, go ahead. You're good. No, you were about to. I was saying that's crazy, and then you got all. Well, say that no. one more time. To, well, say it to my face. Because I literally just sat here and told you how my experiences have led me to feel about men and how I told you how I felt literally insane. Literally insane. So you're insane. And questioning whether... No, I'm not insane. No, you said Because I've done a lot insane. of healing. I said I felt insane. I, I said I felt like I was You've, insane okay. because of everything that I have yeah. been through. Sure, bad things happen to people. Totally yes, get it. Just, and I've moved on. I'm not saying that they're still present in my life. I've moved on. But it's like, it doesn't good. sound like you have because you're holding it against men. And just because no, you I'm had trauma doesn't mean that you can justify. Oh, whoa, 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 babe. Let's back up. I'm not holding it against all men. I never said all men. I said about 50%. That's a because majority of men. It's half. That's half. It's not a majority. It's half. 50%. But again, 5%. because of my personal experiences where someone I knew who knew and trusted to protect me 
especially as a child, right. failed to do that. I also agree this panel is the absolute worst. 60% of women are child abusers, and I can just say that because I feel that. Her <laughs> logic. <laughs> well, that's the point that I was getting at. It sounds like you're I'm holding on to child trauma. Abusers. No, he's saying that the, all women are doing that. Oh. It, it's an example that he gave. Yeah, no, I'm not saying that at all. Just because something horrible happened to you, and I'm sorry that that repeatedly. happened to you repeatedly with, I'm assuming, different people, it sounds like you're holding on to that drama as a means to justify your towards men mistrust. in general. Mistrust. I'm not, don't say bias, mistrust. And okay. it's not just mistrust of men. It's mistrust of all people. I, like, because literally, like, I hold those who are close to me, so close and dear, because like looking at you guys, I don't know who any of you people are. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't trust you for anything. No offense, it's just because I don't know you. Do you think that that's an unhealed part of you that's going to challenge you in no, your relationships? No, I think that's a survival instinct. Hmm. I think that's what's keeping me from getting hurt repeatedly and making maybe the same mistakes so, that I did make that got me hurt in the first place. As an older woman than you, I look at you and I see a lot of pain. I come from an abusive household. I hold a lifelong restraining order against my father. I have every reason in the world to despise men, to feel unsafe in their presence, to totally reject them and, and not want to be around them. But I worked through that trauma and I healed from it. And I'm able to sit here and look you in the eye and tell you I need a man. I'm so much safer in this mm -hmm. world with a man. I never said I didn't need a man. Right. Why but, do you need a man to feel safe? Because life is so much easier with a man by your side why agree who said i wanted life to be easy mm, what well then you're you're picking your poison there with that yeah, yeah but life can you're, be easy you're, just you're, me being on my own as well you're choosing a very challenging i don't path have to have to a man down. to make my life easy then like, don't sit here and complain that you want this man to take you seriously then and now you're backpedaling and you're like oh well if that's challenging that's okay you're, you're doubling down on your argument is what's happening no, because you don't want to be embarrassed i'm really not no because the way i see it with a guy you have no one to compete with but me i love my free time i love the shit that i do in my personal life i wouldn't give that up for i mean someone unless they were really good you got to sit here and prove to me that i should give that up what man is asking you to give up your hobby? I don't know well, why that was I, brought up. Okay, well, that's the thing is, like, in the past, I've had men who have been like, oh, you need to set aside time, which is fine. I don't mind setting aside time. But then they would venture into, like, okay, well, maybe don't do this so you can set aside time. No, I'm not going to give up on my training just to set aside time for you. I have things in my life that I would like to accomplish. But what if he helps you accomplish those? then he's really got to step up and like actually prove it. Exactly. Asking me to skip training if he wanted to really oh, help right. me train. He would enforce that. I exactly. think he would help you. I just think when you're with a man that can lead you, you can just turn your brain off and you trust that wherever he leads you. I'd like a man who would lead me 100%. I just don't trust any of the men to actually lead me because so based on their behavior, that's not you're limited in my mindset and you're holding yourself back then mm -hmm. from no, having because, a man you? No, because that's never stopped me from pursuing men or pursuing that. I still pursue that and I trust until given a reason to not trust. Would you submit to a man or no? What do you mean by no. submit? Because like I feel like everybody has <laughs> such different no. definitions. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. What do you specifically mean by submit? Because I feel like everyone can have very personal definitions of that. Mm. Well, I would say you let him take the lead, and that's literally submitting. Like you're allowing him to take control of mostly. I mean, for me, I would let my man take control of it all. Yeah, like what we do, financials. Right. Like, would you let the man be the head of the household, or do you want 50-50? What do you mean head of the household? Like you make working, big decisions. You decide decide where you live. I'd like to be included on big decisions. Yeah, you I would, think that's important. But... I don't like the word submit, because that makes it seem like one's higher than the other. I don't think it's one's higher than the I other, think... because as women, we can do things that men can't do, yep. and men can do things we cannot do. And no, it's facts. not one's better than the other. They need each other. You, it's a puzzle. Yeah. No, you no, need, no. It's and a I puzzle. didn't say one's better than the other. Mm -hmm. Right. I said... In a household, when one is submissive, it's an authority thing, mm -hmm. is what I'm saying. It's an authority thing. 
But you need to have trust to allow that. Mm -hmm. Most of the men who I've been with aren't trustworthy. I've Perhaps seen their behavior, behavior and they don't bring mm -hmm. the safe. So why don't you surround yourself around men that have? Oh, well, I have now. The guy that you were just talking about who you said may not respect me and you, I can't expect so why him can't you to have respect a conversation? me. That's what do you mean? Like have a conversation with him to let him know this is how I feel. We have like to mess around. Does it line up with what you want? Like how you want to settle or just fully give yourself in? I've made him well aware of what I want. And we talked about talking more in depth. But yeah, he's someone who actually does bring that out of me. That's and good. actually that's makes good. me good. feel like a man can lead. Good. good. That's good. I'm happy for you. Cool. Yay. Yeah. So like, do you actually like allow yourself to trust people yes 100 like, percent. i trust you until you give me a reason to not to trust, trust you so if it's just is, like, sounds a random like you just person have some sort of hurt in you or i don't know how to explain it but thing you're holding on to so yeah. it's like because listening to you talk it's like he has to prove something to me yeah, but it's you're, also you're like you have to down. allow yourself to no 100 percent. i'm someone. definitely guarded i'll agree with that do you but, think that makes it a little harder for you to i think it definitely men? makes it harder but at the same time, not really, because I'm definitely not that guarded. All you have to do is bring it out of me. The thing is, I don't communicate with someone. Like, if I'm not communicating with you, if I'm giving you mixed signals or you're questioning how I feel, that's a clear sign that I'm not into it and that clearly I'm just like, you're not bringing something out of me. But what are you bringing to them? Yeah. That's fair. That was like a good question. What do you offer to them? Mm -hmm. I mean, personally, I think that can only be decided by that person. I don't think what that do you can think? be decided think you by me. What do you, what do you think that you bring to the table? When you are allowing yourself yeah, to trust you someone. Yeah. Yeah. When I am allowing myself to trust somebody, I think I can be super open and mm -hmm. I can have really good communication mm -hmm. and I can be loving and supportive. Do you think that that's all a man needs? No. No, definitely not. Wait, I have a question for you. So, like, what you expect, like, in a relationship or, like, from a man, what you want them to offer, can you also offer the same thing in return? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I had a, before the guy I'm seeing now, my last situationship, he wanted me to do things and act like his girlfriend, and I was like, I'm not your girlfriend, though. Until you make me your girlfriend, I'm not going to do certain things. I mean, but it's also okay. kind of like you can like flip those situations yeah. and he can be like, oh, well, you're not my girlfriend yet because you, you're, you're not displaying right. that behavior. A lot of men yeah. do that with marriage, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm not saying that I can't display that behavior with someone that I'm not dating. I can. It just has to be a very special person. That guy who I was seeing before this guy was also just very immature and doing things very wrong. He kissed another girl out of pettiness, like right in front of me. So I like he was just not it. He was just not there. Were yeah. you guys just like talking at the time? Or? Oh yeah, we had had a three month long talking like phase, I guess. What are you and guys then... giggling about? I was just saying, I feel left out because I don't even like pursue men. So. <laughs> you can talk about your experiences well, you with yeah, talk about, talk like, about what you bring to the table, you know. Those types of topics are open. Do you think it's a lot easier to trust women than men mm. in your experience? But see, with the cooking, yeah. the cleaning, oh, yeah. I feel like that should be like thinking about that. I agree with that. Oh, no. Um, if you see something just, that needs to be done, just do it. Yeah. In what ways do you think? Well, when y'all are talking about like being with a man and women have the roles and the men have the roles, I, I don't see that. I feel like a woman can also do a man's roles, and a man can also do a woman's roles, so. I think that kind of is what we're talking about, though, so there's, like, even, so would you say in your relationships with other women, you've seen a dynamic of woman, one playing the more masculine role and one playing the more feminine role? Mm -hmm. So I think that's essentially what we're kind of saying, like, mm -hmm. there's things that men do, aka masculine things that they do and there's also things that women do which is like in every relationship it works out but and I think the more masculine a man is the more feminine you can be he'll bring that femininity out of you if that makes sense and there's definitely peace in the mm -hmm. relationship 
and that's what ends. I was trying to like get at literally turn when I was off. saying like oh he doesn't bring something out of me and like it sounded bad and it sounded like I was trying to make it like oh it's your fault they're just not immature. masculine they're emotionally immature mm-hmm. I mean like this guy used to like crap on me for not being able to communicate and I'm like y- you won't communicate with me either I- you literally oh he was such an interesting man do you think there's like an outbreak of a lot more feminine men these days? Yeah. They want princess treatment. Grid One Motorsports donated $200. The trauma llama chick cannot offer the one thing men want peace. You are disagreeable and feminist, and good men avoid those things. I think you need self reflection. Embrace patriarchy. Thank you, Grid One. Um, do you want to so respond to that? <laughs> <laughs> So princess treatment. What is like? What is princess treatment for men? What does it look like for men? You think? (laughs) Can I ask a question before we start talking about that? I agree with you on the idea of not. I wouldn't say I need a man, but I would want one for the same reasons. Mm -hmm. Since you're engaged, I'm Mm -hmm. sure you've had a lot of experience. Where would you draw the line of what a man's roles? "Quote unquote" roles are, or like in terms of how she mentioned. It. Oh my God, why can't I remember the word? S word. Submission. Submission. Thank you. <laughs> my brain is What's like. the man's role of? of yeah, the like where would you draw? A woman yeah. submit, being worthy of submission. So I'll give you girls context yeah. so you can understand where I'm coming from. I think I would have been the perfect poster child of feminism. So I was raised by a single mother. Mm-hmm. I went to college. I got my degree in statistics, which is a male-dominated field. Right. Mm-hmm. I got my job at Visa, and at the age of 24, I bought my home in the Bay Area. It just proves to you that I worked my butt off to get what I had. Yeah, you could do it by yourself. After I bought my home, I proceeded to remodel the home with my own two hands using YouTube tutorials. I did the manly work. I scraped a popcorn ceiling. I put in a full laminate floor. I learned how to use a table saw and not cut off all 10 fingers, (laughs) right? I proved that I can live this life without a man. And I'm telling you, it is not fulfilling. Mm Because at the end of the day, I was sitting in an empty home, absolutely miserable that I was alone. Mm -hmm. So I need a man to fulfill my greatest potential in life, which is to become a mother. There is nothing that's better than becoming a mother and having that legacy. And when you find the right man who wants to have that legacy as well, you will want to submit to him. Mm -hmm. I think the issue is, and what we've come across with this whole bear thing, is that women are being fed this lie that men are bad, men are dangerous. And so you have that in your Mm -hmm. mind. And when you believe that men are bad, you're not going to see the best in them. You're not going to pick out the best men. Mm -hmm. I used to lie to myself when I was 21, 20, and I would tell myself, I don't want kids. What do you think that did subconsciously to Mm me? When I'm dating, I don't care if he's going to be a good dad. Right. Mm -hmm. So if you start dating a guy who's going to be a terrible father, how is he going to treat you? Mm -hmm. Terribly. Mm -hmm. Right? And it wasn't until I met my fiancé, who would be an amazing father, was I like, oh my gosh, I want your babies. <laughs> like, when you are in the presence of a strong man, it brings mm-hmm. out the feminine side of you. It, sure does. it truly yeah. allows you to flourish and become the best version mm-hmm. of yourself possible. Right. And without my fiance, I would not be who I am today. Because we as oh, women, we multiply. A man mm-hmm. brings a house, we make it a home. A man brings mm-hmm. what, a deer he, just ha- he was hunting for, we make it food. Right. A man gives us love, we give him children. Mm -hmm. We multiply what a man does. So if he's also bringing in chaos, we're going to also multiply that, though. So So a man needs to be worthy of submission. And that's a a huge problem that I see um, on social media is is these men just try to demand so much out of women, and Mm -hmm. they're not secure. Mm -hmm. They're not stable. Mm -hmm. So how dare they demand that of a woman? So you need to be vigilant and filter through your men that you decide to date. And don't give these guys who aren't worthy of Mm -hmm. submission your attention at all. You have to learn. The woman is in total control, but women give the most awful men the the attention and all of the control. That was so perfectly... Yeah. It took me a few years to get to that. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Where are we? Welcome right. back. <laughs> Let me read a couple chats. We'll maybe finish up with the bear stuff. Epirus, thanks for the gifted subs. <laughs> I've been done with the bear We're stuff. still on that. 